Right up there, it's the end of the line, and that's where we're going. What we've got is, uh, that's sort of uh, the end of the slough, but on the other side of that uh, vegetation up there, there's another, another slough on the other side of it. And I've located a trail right through the middle of that, and it is being used by everything. Deer, hogs, beaver, otter, everything. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go up there, and we're going to put in a little uh, game cam. And I've had to shut the motor down. Uh, and you can see this is, man, duckweed everywhere. But uh, that's where this uh, push pole comes in, I tell you. I just made that out of a, a long uh, curtain rod, a 10-foot curtain rod and a piece of PVC pipe on the end. And uh, when you get into areas like this where you're drawing six inches of water, a uh, push pole is the way to go. It's a lot better than a paddle, believe me. So let's get on up there and take a look. And what we've got is we've got a slough here, and I've come all the way to the end of the line. And what we've got here is a trail. And this is a highway. That thing is beat down to the mud. And hopefully you can see on the other side there's more water and another slough up there. So uh, let me get up in here and let's see if I can do this without getting a uh, snake bit. Show y'all at this. Look at there, man. Everything is coming through here. On out. There's a trail going off there. Trail right up the middle. Right over here to the left. There's a giant hog wallow. Man, that has been torn up by the hogs. And so I'm gonna put a game camera up. And you can see they've been rubbing on that tree right over there. We're gonna get over there. And uh, take a look at it right there they've been rubbing that good so uh, I think we're gonna get some good footage if this old camera still works now, if you've never been around hogs much they love to walla they'll get in a mud hole like this and they'll roll and roll and roll and then what they'll do is they'll come rub and scratch rub up against the trees here you can see all those hickory knots sticking up I mean cypress knots excuse me but uh, all of those cypress knees sticking up, they got mud on them. This tree's got mud on it. That tree's got mud on it. Now, a good indicator of the size of hogs that you're dealing with is how tall the rubs are. This is very short. So I think we've got a bunch of piglets in here. Because um, that's, uh, I mean, 18 inches tall. That's not very tall. I've seen them, uh, I've seen them waist high. And when you see them waist high, you're, you're, dealing, with, uh, you're dealing with something else. But uh, the camera is right up there. All right, so that's what we got. Got it up against the tree. You can see just how that works. That screws up into the bottom of the game camera. That screws into the tree. Tighten the bolts, tighten the bolts. You've got a rock solid mount. And that's what we're watching. Got a rubbing tree, a rubbing tree. Got a bunch of hog tracks and a big fat wallow down there. So uh, hopefully that old camera still works. Now look at that trail. That's just, it's like when you go and you look at the trapping books and they have the mythological perfect set. This is it. Unbelievable. Everything is coming right down through here. The deer, hogs, beaver, otter, you name it. 
I'm going to take advantage of this low water, dry ground conditions, and uh, see what lies ahead. Okay, got another wallow right here, and uh, they've been rooting up right up in there. All up in here, fellas. those beaver dens. Holy crap. Look at all of that. Amazing. Let's check these beaver dens out over here. They're high and dry right now, but come tramping season they won't be. See, that's their trail in and out. Now, if you're ever trying to trap bank dens, this is a good education. You can see there's the den entrance right there. There's a channel and a high hump. Another channel right there. When they come out, he can come straight or he can cut and go through that channel. So that's the way you've got to find these things. Now, see that bank is undercut all along there. If you just go along and stick your foot under there, you won't be able to tell where the channel, where the den entrance is. But if you wait until you step down in that channel, that's where you put your 330. This is a good way to educate yourself on what things are going to look like under the water when trapping season comes. There we go. Got some hog scat right there. You've never seen it before that's what it looks like and uh, right over here look at the size of that that's my it's my hand for comparison that's a big boy there there oh yeah fresh Boy, you can smell that. It's all out in here. That is fresh. <clears throat> in this heat, still be able to smell it. Another trail off to the side here. People have asked me why I don't go ahead and trap them um, this time of the year, even though the season is open. There's no closed season on them, but uh, it's hot. I mean, when it's 100 degrees, uh, a hog is not going to last long in a trap. And uh, once uh, once that animal dies, it's uh, it's gonna the meat's gonna go downhill fast. So I'd rather do my scouting, locate everything, and uh, get everything planned out. Then wait till the weather cools down a little bit. That way when I get there, whatever I've got in the trap is going to be alive. And I can uh, hang, the, hang the meat up, hang the animal up, butcher it on the spot. And uh, put everything in a cooler and get it on out. So it's just uh, it's a little bit too hot. 
uh, to be collecting meat uh, from a trap right now. Well, another day is drawn to a close. The sun has uh, slipped behind the trees. The frogs and the other uh, noises of the night have started their uh, their nightly duties. And, you know, it really makes you wonder uh, how many more how many more nights uh, you have left to experience. And you really start to appreciate each and every aspect of each and every night. You know, all of this is, uh, it's not worth much if you can't share it with uh, those that you care about. And um, that's all I'm trying to do. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along. And uh, we'll see you next time.